What if we had a chance to speak to Catnap right before the hour of joy? What would little Theodore, who's not so little anymore, tell us? Was he good? Was he evil? Did he have a purpose besides just following what the prototype wanted him to do? Well, in today's video, we get just that. A conversation, a FNAF-style interview one-on-one -on -one with Catnap before it all went down. This video was brought to us by a creator named Multia Games, and let me tell you, it is entirely too spine chilling to watch alone. There is an eerie sense of evil that comes from the voice of Catnap and it is very very well done. I could definitely see this being canon as it is a conversation with Catnap and one of the scientists who put him in this bigger body. Shortly after that video, we're going to watch a VHS version of Catnap escaping and wreaking havoc during the Hour of Joy. But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video titled Catnap's VHS Conversation. Experiment 1188. First conversation. Oh, so this is the first- oh my god. Um, He's right. so creepy. Hey, Theodore, how Theodore. are your days going down here? I haven't visited you for a- uh... A long time. Oh, he's just been trapped uh, down here. It looks like the uh, playground how are though, in the you? background, for sure. So they've trapped him down uh, here in the playground, like a caged okay. animal. Listen, catnap. Wait. You may not have gotten used to your new body yet. He doesn't want to respond but to Theodore. This is now forever. That boy named Theo is no longer there. It's you should get used to it because it'll be better that him. way. Won't oh it? my god! Oh my god! When he spoke, the lights okay. shimmered. Uh oh, oh, 118 was managed to have rescheduled the conversation for the next week, so he refused to speak the first time. Experiment oh my God, look at him, slender man. Hello again. Life. It's been quite a difficult week, hasn't it? Oh my God. But you did a good job, mate. I, I actually doubted the kids would love you, but amazingly, wait, wait. everyone adores you. They're letting this guy interact the with kids children. Love you. Love your red smoke. The red smoke. <laughs> oh right, obviously awesome. he's putting them to sleep. I hear him. Who's him? The prototype? Uh, what do you mean? I see him. Oh my god, him is all caps. No, I don't very much understand what you're talking about. Oh, Let's he knows. He knows. Specific. The reason the he's even alive. Oh the reason that Theodore is even alive, by the way, guys, is because he's now inside of Catnap's body. To escape recently? Oh my god. God, listen, Theodore. Forget oh, about oh, oh, him. Oh, oh. He's getting upset. You'll never see him. Oh my God! Oh. The hour of joy soon will be free. And he's busted open that's the glass almost. Scary. Yeah, that's scary. But unfortunately, it's a giant cat. In our hands, you are completely that you under created. Control. Our eyes are Wait, on you. Wait. So he says he's completely under control. Humble yourself. So surely he doesn't escape. Humble yourself. And there's a call going on in the background. 1188 managed to escape from a cell with the unknown force. The conversation was interrupted. Literally right between that. Look, Harley Sora. The hour of joy is upon us. Oh my god. And literally, it's Harley Sora that wrote that. And look at Catnap. Wait, so do we get a glimpse of him actually escaping? Oh my god, he's out! Wait, this is the this is the scientist running. Is this Harley? No, he wouldn't have wrote it. Oh my god. Okay. Just hide behind this door. Nothing to see here. Don't don't peek. Don't peek. Just hide here and the okay, we're safe. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Get back in. Get back in. Get back in. Close that door. Maybe he didn't see you. Maybe he didn't see you. Just stay here. Don't move. Where are the other children? Is he killing them? This is this is wait, if he, he didn't see us. We're safe. Oh my god. Okay, this is really good. So now all we have to do is go out slowly and escape. That's all you have to do. Step out and escape one step at a time. The lights are flickering. Oh my god, where did he come from? Wow. Now that was. Oh my god, it's a body. It's a body. I thought it was over, but it's not. What is he going to do to it? He just killed him. He didn't eat him. But then again, this is pre the hour of joy, so he's not entirely too hungry. Okay, let's get a glimpse of what would happen during the actual hour now.
Okay, so this video takes place, it is literally titled Poppy Playtime Chapter 3, The Hour of Joy. And it starts off with the Smiling Critters cartoon. Workforce Danger Alert. Effective 8-8-1995, Playtime Company issues a Workforce Danger Alert. And we already know this is exactly when The, the Hour, Hour of Joy of took joy. place. Alright, so... Oh my god, it's a mix of all Sounds of the videos. Sounds sweet, doesn't it? But how much that sweetness has sacrificed our employees? Uh-oh. And all this happened because of one thing. Experiment 1006. That's the prototype. prototype, my friend. The written prototype on a piece of paper. launched a rebellion against Playtime Co. Freeing the smiling all the critters. Those are the mini smiling critters. Before, but he couldn't oh my god, imagine alone. being eaten so alive by them. Experiment Red Smoke. Or catnap. Oh my catnap god. Catnap is inherently a dangerous murder weapon. Oh my god. But from Get the out of there. Whose soul was in catnap, oh my god. There was an attachment. Oh, he tripped. A typical. All that awaits Every you horror VHS needs one. One trip. Horrors. Oh my goodness. Look at Mighty that. Mouse for the oh flat. my gosh. How immense. How crazy would that be? You don't know if you're hallucinating. He'll kill everyone in his path. Oh my god. He'll kill everyone in his path. And we already know that him and a few others did exactly that. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Catnap. An interview right there with him in front of us. Which they thought he was contempt hidden behind whatever glass. They were so secure about it. Even telling Catnap to humble himself. That is, until he just so happened to finally either be released or break out himself. My thoughts here are that the prototype somehow got Catnap out. He obviously had somewhat of a relationship with Theodore, seeing as he's once saved him, which led to Theodore being put inside of Catnap's body during the Bigger Bodies initiative. And even though he was somehow able to get out, interact with the children because they needed him to put them asleep, use this poppy playtime red gas to get them to be subdued in order for him to, you know, get another child, another orphan into a bigger body. And that's exactly what he did and created the rest of his smiling critters friends and any other maybe even failed experiments in the process. This video shows us a one-on-one -on -one that I didn't think we could ever see. Not to mention shows not only what happened literally right before the hour of joy, but how it all took place. It looks like Catnapped really popped everything off. So it makes me wonder, did he go around and let the other bigger body toys out of their cages? Letting Huggy Wuggy and Miss Delight and the others wreak havoc on top of the human employee. Boys. Regardless, the eeriness of this video really puts into perspective just how horrible that day was, and probably explains why the rest of the toys find it to be so gruesome. You can see they weren't just killing these employees to eat them, but for sport, a way to get back at having their bodies be shoved into these horrific creatures. So now, we bring in a little bit of a theory here. My theory is that Catnap and the prototype had this plan the entire time. They worked together hand in hand, knowing that the scientists would keep releasing Catnap as long as he allowed himself to seem like he was helping them. He used his red poppy gas in order to spread read it to the children and give the scientists what they want. However, it was just testing the boundaries of his cage, allowing him to see what he could and couldn't do. And he even says it himself when he says that the hour of joy is soon coming, warning the scientists exactly of what he is going to do. And it doesn't get more cocky than that, and it explains why the scientist told him to humble himself. But when he did finally get out, he didn't forget those words. He found that same scientist, found him hiding within the play care, and eventually killed him right before him and the others wreaked havoc on the rest of them. 
And that, my friends, is a insane look into the eyes of the monsters at the hour of joy. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor. Make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. And we'll be sure to come back with more of this series right here as videos are released. But, guys, that wraps it up for now. Thank you again for all love and support. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out!